It starts with a drive up a hill to a winding road lined with tall, skinny pine trees. I know I've arrived in my cottage when I see the green street sign that says Legend Drive. My cottage was built by my papa back when my dad was a kid for them to have a place to go relax and have fun. Things we still do there today. At my cottage, we, we visit my cottage year round, in the summer and in the winter. So I think it'd be fitting to talk about both those times. All the activities we do at my cottage could not be possible without my cottage, and I'm so grateful that we have this place. In the winter, we go snowmobiling. We have four snowmobiles in the garage, two bigger ones and then two smaller ones that me and Sam got when we were kids. We build snow, uh, snow jumps off the snow bank and we'd launch our little ones and we'd flip them and roll them and that was always fun. My dad would pull us on his bigger one and we'd be on the sled behind. I remember he'd be going super fast and all the snow would be blowing at our face and it was tons of fun. When we're not snowmobiling, we'd go 10 to 15 minutes away and to the sledding hill, not your average sledding hill. This sledding hill was a straight drop off and you could only get in about four up and down turns because you'd be so exhausted from hiking up the hill. If you're not paying attention, when someone went down, they'd take out your legs and you'd go flying down, stuff like that, and you'd roll down and someone always went home crying. My favorite activity to do in the winter up at my cottage is skiing. It's not really the skiing that was fun, but hanging out with the friends at the ski hill. My friends aren't the best skiers, but they're all right, and they'd always cut someone off, run into someone, and one of them's not the brightest, and we'd dare him to jump off the chairlift, and that was pretty fun. I'm, not, I'm surprised we're not banned from that place. I like the winter at my cottage, but I really enjoy the summer, mainly because I can do one of my favorite activities, which is fishing. About four Christmases ago, my grandma got me a little John boat, and I go around my lake about three hours a day, and I fish. And the first year I got the boat, I was terrible. I couldn't catch a single fish. But now I know my spots around the lake, the drop off, the weeds in the grass, in the side of the lake, stuff like that where I can catch fish now. And I love it. When I'm not fishing, we have two jet skis up at the cottage. One, well, one we use a lot and we wakeboard and jet ski off and water ski off of it. And the other we tube off. I'm a wakeboarder and I can do some tricks and Sam's a water skier and he's pretty good at water skiing. We also came up with this new game where one guy drives the jet ski and the other guy sits on the back and you keep going up in speed until you can't anymore and the guy jumps off and basically until he gets hurt jumping off. And one of my friends got up to like 45 miles an hour jumping off the back and that was really fun that day. Um, after a day on the lake, we all come inside and we put on our sweatshirts, sweatpants because it does get chilly at night and we all gather around the campfire and you can always ensure guaranteed one thing around the campfire, which is lots of laughter. We tell stories and play games around the campfire. It's tons of fun. All the fun activities we do in my cottage couldn't be possible without my cottage, and I'm so grateful to have this place. Whether it's in the winter hanging with friends out playing out in the snow, or in the summer where our days revolve around the lake, water skiing or tubing, I'm really glad that we have this place. The definition of the word favorite is before all others and to me that perf perfectly describes my cottage because no other place can I have as much fun while spending quality time with my friends and family.